Hi there. It's Dr. Brian Hubel in here with Lexington ENT and Allergy and wanted to just talk about something that we get asked all the time and that's how am I supposed to clean the earwax out of my ears on my own? So we'll see people in the office that have impactions of the earwax which means there's a total occlusion or near occlusion of the ear canal and that can lead to hearing loss and just a general discomfort in the ear. We typically remove that with instrumentation using an operative microscope here in the office. It's, it's painless, it takes just a few minutes. Um, but in some cases, people wanna know how they can do some things on their own or how they can try to prevent the earwax from developing. So the most common thing I recommend is using a peroxide solution, either a 50-50 solution peroxide or even just straight peroxide. So standard peroxide in the brown bottle. Uh, you can pour some of that in your canal and let it soften the wax. It will try to dissolve and it'll bubble a little bit as it dissolves that wax. And then you can flush out the wax either with just a bulb syringe, which you can buy also at, at the pharmacies, or you can use um, a syringe or a, or a medicine dropper to try to gently squirt some of that wax out of the ear. Once it's softened, it's gonna come out a lot easier. Um, we definitely see people that overdo cleaning efforts in their ears. So Q-tips, uh, we don't recommend. Anything really smaller, small enough to fit in the ear canal, more commonly packs the wax against the eardrum and irritates the skin of the ear canal, creating a chronic itchy condition of the ears. So if people just leave a little bit of wax alone, that'll serve them better than trying to clean it out all the time. Um, for people that get recurrent impaction, sometimes we'll see people regularly in the office and clean it out. It's certainly easier and more comfortable to get that cleaned out before it gets totally occluded than if it is totally occluded. So here at Lexington ENT and Allergy, we're happy to take care of those problems. I hope that helps. Thank you.